welcome to 21st Century Home. I'm Craig Miller. It seems like the only time we ever think about the glass in our windows is when it starts screaming for a squeegee or one of the neighbor kids chucks a baseball through some of it. Well, I guess that's the burden of being transparent. But windows are such an integral part of the house. And now they're finally starting to get some of the R&D attention they've always deserved. In the 21st century home, your glass is going to be working a lot harder for you and still managing to stay out of sight and out of mind. Windows are in the midst of a transparent but critical transformation. The trend today in home building is larger homes and larger expanses of glass, but that runs contrary to energy codes. All the more reason that energy efficient glass is going to have a role in today's design. Uh, thermally speaking, glass is the loose flap in the home's energy envelope. Heat passes through glass 10 to 12 times faster than through an insulated wall. But scientists and research engineers are changing that. The latest window designs keep the outside temperature outside and the inside temperature in better than ever before. Double-paned windows with an airspace in between have already become the standard. That air pocket slows down the transfer of heat from inside the house to outside, and vice versa. Filling that air cavity with a heavy, inert gas such as argon or krypton slows down the heat transfer even more. Some newer windows also offer the so-called low E coating. Low E, low E stands for low emissivity. A low E coating is actually a thin, invisible layer of metal that's bonded to the surface of the glass. These metal particles allow the shorter wavelengths of visible light in, but reflect back the longer wavelengths, which bring in unwanted heat in the summer, and keeps the inside heat from escaping in winter. Now window makers are taking another step with air cavity and coating technology. This so-called heat mirror design suspends a sheet of coated polyester film in between the two panes, creating two air cavities instead of one. That's double the barrier for escaping heat. And now the PCG gauges are this company called Southwall provides the film inserts that window manufacturers use to double the airspace. This is premium quality polyester film, and this is really the beginning of the process. Southwall's Brian Kennedy says that this kind of window can insulate as well as a wall. One of the reasons why it's so important for us to suspend this film within the airspace is because of R values. The R value is the most commonly used measure of how well something insulates, and at the low end of the scale is, well, guess what? If you start with single pane glass, single pane glass has an insulating or R value of one. When you insulate it, in other words, if you take two plies of glass and you have an airspace, that gives you an R2. Now, with low E coatings, which you can apply to either surface of the glass and gas fillings, a conventional insulated unit with one airspace and low E coatings taps out at R4. With heat mirror, by virtue of the fact that we're suspending film and creating more air cavities, whereby we can put more low E coatings, we have glass products that are ending up in windows with R12, R13 now. And energy efficiency is what the future of windows is all about. The near-term future will involve greater numbers of air cavities within the insulated unit, a greater number of coatings, and gas fillings. These new high-performance glass windows not only insulate better, that suspended film can, in some cases, block almost completely the kinds of light that we don't want around the house, like the destructive ultraviolet light that fades the carpets and draperies, bleaches and dries out the wood furniture. Now, what all these customizable coatings and features really mean is that you can tune the window scheme of your house. For example, on the north side of the house, where the sun doesn't hit directly, you don't need ultraviolet protection, but you do need good thermal insulation. On the south side, where the sun beats down, you'll need that UV coating and some infrared protection to keep out the summer heat. Now, granted, these high-tech windows are a lot more expensive than that single pane of glass you may have grown up with, but their designers say it doesn't take long to see that cost offset in the gas and electric bill. And Bob Peterson, the architect who designed this house, says there are other gains that you really can't measure. 
we give two kinds of responses from clients where we've used this uh, glass. One is that their utility bills are very modest, which is a great seller. Uh, the other is, and it's probably more important, is the comfort. You have so much less heat loss that you feel like you can be closer to the glass and not be uncomfortable. And that's a very positive aspect. It tends to make the houses feel larger because you can be up next to the glass, and it's very comfortable.